we're live today is august 20 2021 here at without borders prayer center philippines and welcome to our daily dawn watch we'd like to say good morning good afternoon and good evening to all our intercessors good evening sister lolit coronado good afternoon tatang romi maliari uh, good afternoon, Brother Mon and Sister Grace Pineda. Good morning, Ma'am Fem and Pastor Hill Calma. Good morning, Sister Raquel Anchieta, Sis, uh, Brother Angel Steve. Sister Alessa, Brother Rogelio Juan Sr. Good morning, Pastor Vic and Sister Son Consenco. Good morning, Sister I.C. Mendoza, Brother Francis Gura. Good afternoon, Brother Moreno Flores. Good morning, Sister Rita Makasakit. Sister Marie Andrea. Brother Romy and Sister Hermie Valencia. Good morning, Sister Beth Santos. Imang Ising Chan. Good morning po. Uh, Sister Elvi Samson Pagio. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon, Mars. Good evening, Sister Josie Ganya Dizon. Good morning, Pastor Hill. Good morning, uh, Romel, Colonel Romel Flojo. Sister Mirna Magsino. Sister um, Marivic Higante. Ma'am Janet David, good morning. Sister Leonora Santos, good afternoon po. Sister Net Alfonso, good morning. Brother Rading and Sister Noy Gorospe, good morning. Good morning, Sister Alma Gomez. Okay, tayo pong lahat ay manalangin. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa araw na ito. Salamat sa magandang umaga. Salamat sa kalakasan. Salamat sa... Kagalingan sa aming mga karamdaman, salamat sa kapatawaran sa aming mga kasalanan, salamat Panginoon sa mga pagkakataong ibinibigay mo sa amin, salamat po o Diyos sa biyaya mo na sagana po sa lahat ng aming mga pangangailangan. Lord, uh, we lift you up today, receive our worship in Jesus' name, Amen and Amen.
Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, the 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Purihin po natin ang Panginoon. Dakila ka, O Diyos. Tapat kang tunay, hindi ka nagbabago, hindi ka nagkukulang, Panginoon. Dinadakila ka namin sa araw na ito. Itinataas namin ang iyong pangalan. Yes, oh Mabuti ka, Panginoon. Mabuti ka sa amin. Salamat mm. po, Panginoon. Salamat po, Diyos. Salamat po, Panginoon. Pinupuri ka namin. You, Sinasamba ka namin lahat ng karangalan, lahat ng pasasalamat, lahat ng pagdakila, Panginoon, ay iniaalay namin sa iyo, Panginoon. Sa iyong banal na, na pangalan, O Diyos. Salamat po, Panginoon. Tanggapin mo ang aming pagpupuri, ang aming pasasalamat, ang aming taus-pusong pagkilala, Panginoon, sa lahat ng iyong ginagawa sa aming mga buhay. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon. Maraming salamat Salamat po. Sinasabi ng ikalawang kronika, 7-14, kung ang aking bayan na tinatawag sa pamamagitan ng aking pangalan ay magpapakumbaba at dumalangin at hanapin ang aking mukha at talikura ng kanilang masamang mga lakad, akin ngang didinggin sa langit at ipapatawad ko ang kanilang mga kasalanan at paggagalingin ko ang kanilang mga lupain. Panginoon, nagpapakumbaba po kami o Diyos. Nagpapakumbaba po kami, Panginoon. Dumadalangin kami, Panginoon. We seek your face today, Lord God. Tulungan mo kami, Panginoon, at talikura ng lahat ng aming mga kasalanan, Panginoon. Ang lahat ng karumihan. Dalangin namin, Panginoon, na pagalingin mo po ang aming lupain. Pagalingin mo ang aming bayan. Let us now pray for the Philippines and we encourage you to pray for the country where you are now. As a uh, August 19, the Philippine, uh, the Philippines uh, records 14,895 new COVID-19 cases, and this is uh, not including uh, two laboratories. No, tayo po ay uh, kailangan natin consistently makita natin yung pagbaba ng mga bilang, no. Uh, kaya po uh, the IATF at ang mga local governments po are are still deciding on what protocols because of these numbers idalangin po natin ang Panginoon sa Panginoon ng ating uh, pinakamamahal na bansang Pilipinas Lord we lift up to you Lord God our our country Lord God we lift up to you uh, the divine protection Lord for ch for the children against the delta variant we pray for divine protection for our Philippine health workers we pray Lord for the Philippine hospitals capacity especially Lord in the ECQ areas to be manageable and not overwhelming we bless the efforts to prioritize on more testing amen, tracing Lord. and vaccination amen. during the ECQ at the NCR amen we pray that you bless the Okta research group as they deliver accurate and re reliable data we pray for orderly vaccination especially in the ncr to avoid overcrowding amen lord we pray for divine provisions for the majority of the people who are in the ecq areas we pray for continuous mm -hmm. arrival and delivery of covid 19 vaccines we pray for the 250,000 a day vaccination targets put in uh, uh metro manila and the ncr we pray for one hospital command center. And we pray, Lord God, for the Department of Health, Lord, for unaccounted accounts, unaccounted funds in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Lord, uh, we also continue to pray, Lord, for the PNP, the Philippine Army, the Navy, the Coast Guards, the Philippine Air Force. We pray, Lord, for the repatriation of Filipinos in Afghanistan. Yes, okay. Lord, idinadalangin din namin ang, ang uh, Philippine diplomatic ties with China on the West Philippine Seas. We pray against insurgency, terrorism, Lord God. We pray against the NPA, NDF, mm -hmm. Lord God, especially in uh, Mindanao and Visayas, Lord. We pray for the Philippine government's response to climate emergency, Lord. We pray for divine protection from natural disasters, diseases, and calamities. We continue to pray for Taal and Mount Pinatubo. And Lord, we lift up to you our Philippine economy, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We also pray, Lord, for the Philippine national elections happening next year, Lord God. Even right now, we pray for a peaceful, honest, and clean national elections, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let us now pray for our cities, our localities, as we pray for Pampanga. 
Lord, we pray for Angeles City, Mabalakat City, Magalang, Florida Blanca, Guagua, Lubao, Porac, Sasman, Santa Rita, Arayat, Bacolor, Mexico, San Fernando, Santa Ana, Apalit, Candaba, Makabebe, Masantol, Minalin, San Simon, Santo Tomas, San Luis, Miyabeyabe, Mipapagmalasakit, Mikabusya ing Pampanga. Patuloy kayo pong manalangin para kayo Pampanga, Lord, at pag-pray ni po na cover us with your most precious blood, deliver us, Lord God, from uh, this uh, Delta variant and from all uh, the variants and viruses, Lord God, of the COVID-19. Lord, God bless Pampanga and heal our land, Lord, from the chaos this pandemic has caused us. As we pray, Lord, for Governor Dennis Pineda, our Governor, uh, Vice Governor Lilia Pineda, the board members, Lord, we pray for all congressmen. We pray, Lord, for all mayors, especially for the mayor uh, in Mabalakat City, Lord, uh, Mayor Chris Garbo, Mayor of the City of San Fernando, Mayor Edwin Santiago, Mayor Carmelo Pogi Lasatin, the Mayor of Angeles City, Mayor Romy Pexon, the Mayor of Magalang, and all the city mayors, uh, municipality mayors, Lord God, their vice mayors, their counselors, Lord God. We pray for all barangay captains, for all uh, business leaders, Lord Pam Cham, uh, Maxi, Lord God, we pray. Uh, for uh, responsiveness, Lord, especially during this time of pandemic, Lord. And when resources are considered low, we pray for accountability, for integrity, mm. Lord God. We pray for divine protection for our leaders, Lord. We pray for them to know Jesus as Lord and Savior. Amen and amen. We also pray for Clark, Lord God, and remember the leaders, Lord. We pray also for whatever need... Uh, uh, Clark, Lord, has we pray that you provide for all its needs in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Prayer is aligning ourselves with the purposes of God. Let us now pray for the church uh, as we pray po for the persecuted church in North Korea, Africa, China, India, Pakistan, and Middle East. Uh, there is a prayer request to pray for the 229 Christian missionaries who have been sentenced to death. Uh, tomorrow afternoon by the Afghan Islamist. Uh, this message was sent by Judith Carmona, the missionary from Chihuahua who is in Africa. We also pray against the radical Islamic group that has taken over Karachos, the largest Christian city in Iraq. Uh, there are uh, threats of beheading for hundreds of Christian women, men, and children uh, in uh, Kwaga in the name of Jesus, Lord, we especially lift up to you, Lord God, the uh, church planters, the missionaries, Lord God, the workers, Lord God, uh, especially in the countries in the 1040 window, as we pray, Lord God, for the church. In this time of great crisis, Lord God, uh, may, may your church, church be like a city on a hill, shining your light into the darkness of the world, neither death or life, angels or rulers, Things present or future, height or depth, or anything else in all creation will be able to separate your people from your love through your mighty name. Amen. Amen. We pray for the body of believers around the world. As we pray for these churches and ministries, we pray for Merciful God, Magalang Church, Without Borders Church in London, Without Borders Prayer Center, Philippines, Without Borders Texas, His Life City Church, CMI Church, Agape Christ Life Church in Milton, Kings, Agape Bohol, Agape Mindanao, IBI Thailand, Proverbsville School Incorporated, New Hope Glendale, and all the churches that we represent in the name of Jesus. We now pray for our pastors. All-knowing God, thank you that you bless us with pastors and visionary leaders. Please protect our church leaders and their families from Satan's attack and fill them with fresh vision as they shepherd your people. Strengthen their spirit and restore their souls through the work of your Holy Spirit. Let them hear your voice and obey it faithfully. Amen. May we see this world respond in you in repentance and faith. Believers discipled and see your church advance through the faithfulness of our pastors in Jesus name amen amen we pray for our pastors and their family members pastor Ding and mom Ida and family pastor Tim Daphne and kids pastor Vic and sister son family pastor Hill and mom Fem and family 
Pastor Joey, Sister Mao and family, Pastor Fam- uh, Emily and family, Pastor Josie and Jason, uh, Mama Edwina, Richie, and the rest of the family. Thank you for praying for the Seo family. Uh, Pastor Edu and Ria Albano, Pastor Jamain Kunanan, Pastor Ferbirad, Sister Carlene and family. Amen. Alam po natin na napakahalaga ng pag, uh, pagdadalanginan no, sa bawat isa. And let us all receive it, everyone. No? Even as we pray, we also intercede for all pastors, for all uh, intercessors here at Without Borders Prayer Center. We pray for our families as well. We continue to pray for our partners. Pray for Pastor Kim Samonim Laura, Pastor Reggie and Lithia Bolos, Amen. Pastor Robert and Sister Techi Santos, Pastor James and Nerisa de los Santos, Pastor Fernan and Belinda Calaguas, Pastora Cecil Escoto, Pastor Jerry Garcia, Pastor Chito and Mela Jose, Pastor Beth and L.V. Pagio, Bishop Jesse, Mamfeni and Pastora Joyce, Pastor Anthony, Pastor Jerry and Pastor William, Pastor Billy and Guy Nukum, Pastor Albert and Judy Alquero, Pastor Neil and Nida Fernandez. Amen. And all the pastors represented among us in the name of Jesus. We pray for all the pastors and church workers. We now pray for the sick and the afflicted. Heavenly Father, your love is ever constant, as wide as the oceans, as deep as the sea, and as tall as the heavens. We know, Lord, that even amid sickness or disease, amidst any trial, trial, your love is greater and your will is sovereign. Almighty God, you are the only source of health and healing. We believe that you are more than able. Grant to each and every one of us an awareness of your presence and of your power amen in, in all pain and weariness and anxiety teaches to yield ourselves to your perfect will knowing that you love us and will never live or forsake us amen lord itinataas po namin panginoon si sister lisa sarmiento lord for complete recovery yes, lord so God. we pray for lucia alipio digniel josh canlas gloria pagio reverend richard mitchell Lisa Deyang Manalastas, Aching Agnes Lopez, Pastor Reggie Bolus, Marites Capili, Blesilda Yabot, Charmaine Carter, and husband Victoria Flores, Penjo Nicolas, Elisal Soriano, Rosalie Atanosa, Odeleon Largades, Richie Bulanadi, Adian, and Karen Po. We pray for Lori Ganya, Regina Chambao, Noel Lord. Enrique, Sinanggoring Pusong, Tatang Romy Malyari, Adonis Dongka, Nida Mendoza, Rufina Bauge, Imang Hulita Nabong, Sister Bing Salas, and Carnita Del Moral, Mother Bonnie Laksamana, Sister Lourdes Unto, Yoyo Mendez, Sandra Dizon, Ray David, Roy Candelaria, Ruel Ogalde, Pastor Jerry and family. Amen, amen. Lord, we pray for Libay Garbo Aseho, Lord, Nenita Kayanan, Gloria Panganhes, yes, Darwin so Vermont, yes, Tina so Mo, Shireen Manalo, mm-hmm. Alan Torres, George Kison, Carlos Hipolito, Madel Canta, Lilibet Baluyot, Lodivina, Alfonso, Dia Caparos, Brother Rene Sagkalpune, we continue to pray yes, for him, Lord God. Gina Cristobal Naku, Pastor Boni Olalia, Edna Limprin and family, a uh, charm de Lenya, the Buen Suceso family, Arnel Ison, uh, Mrs. Salta, Mrs. Santiago, M- Sister Merly Rosales, Gina Garcia. We condole to the family, very family of uh, the late uh, brother uh, Eddie Villar. No, uh, we pray for comfort, Lord yes, God, God, for the family in the yes, name of God. Jesus. We pray for Mirna Bognot, Gisela Panlillo, Sosimo Bazal, KD Zon, Jun Miranda, Natividad Ocampo, Donny Fernandez, Benedict Galang, Gina Kaiko, Isabel Maniti, Jasmine Soriano, Kim Cabarlok, Estrella Brady, Aurora Sangalang, Imang Linda Acero Pagola, Mami Gloria Zapata Panlillo, Allen Cruz, Robert Javier, Christian Cristobal, Chihi, Chihiro Van Wetchel, Edna Efren Lablang and family. Dan and Janet Abad Santos and family. Amen, Lord. Whether it is COVID, whether mild or critical, Lord God, we come against this disease, Lord God, in 
all uh, our yes, families, yes, Lord so God, God, in all those whose names are not here in the list. Lord God, we pray against COVID in the name of Jesus. Lord, we also pray uh, against cancer, Lord, whether stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, or even stage 4, Lord. Mm. Nothing is too hard for you in the name of Jesus. Yes, oh Lord, dito pong magdialysis, dito pong uh, yes, uh, uh, aliwaliwang Lord, sakit, so Lord God, Lord, in the name Lapino, of Jesus. Hypertension, kang kidney, kang lungs, mm. kang liver, kang puso, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We declare healing from the top of their yes, heads, Lord, Lord, to the Jesus. sole of their feet. In the name of Jesus. Divine healing come. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. For dominion belongs to the Lord and He rules over the nation. This is from Psalm 22 verse 28 and this is our declaration every day. As we pray uh, with uh, Operation World and Prayer Cast, we respond to God's call for His people to pray and today we pray for Malawi which is in Africa uh, with a population of 19,647,000 people, 681. We uh, pray for the unevangelized as well in Malawi, which consists of 3% no, of the people's group. Let us now pray for Malawi. Almighty Father in heaven, we humbly bow as a nation of Malawi to honor you. We acknowledge that you, O oh Father, are the only one who can lead and guide this humble nation. So, so Father, we lift Malawi up unto you. We ask that you bless Malawi with your wisdom, love, and compassion. May we be a nation that is pursuing you and your plans for us. Father, we lift up prayers for our leaders. We ask for blessings on our leaders. May they that are in position of authority take that responsibility seriously and do their best for the good of the nation. May they accept and realize they need you and your direction. May you whisper to them as they make their decisions and give them the heart to follow your guidance. Inspire them to have a passion to help their nation. Father, we lift up unto you the challenges that Malawi is facing. They are many and cause the country to fall astray. May it be, Father, that you give us the strength to look past these problems and focus solely on you. We thank you for the blessings of life and liberty in Malawi. May Malawi continually show love and honor to you. May we be dedicated, steadfast, and remain focused on you, Lord. We ask all these things in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. We pray for Malawi. We pray that uh, the God of mercy to end the scourge of HIV AIDS in Malawi. We pray for Bibles and theological instruction uh, under which are under resourced. No, we pray for the light of Christ to liberate those held captive by witchcraft and Islam in Malawi. Lord, bless Malawi today in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. This is the confidence we have in approaching God that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. Amen, amen. We now pray for Israel as interest in the gospel increase within Israel, especially among the Jews and especially in the last few years. At least 12,000 Jews recognized Jesus as their Messiah just within Israel. Messianic Jews are now an undeniable part of Israeli society. But growth also brings persecution. We pray for boldness in witness and perseverance in faith. Despite the opposition, the return of Jews to Israel was a significant period in Jewish history. Many see it as a fulfillment of prophecy. We pray for the nation's spiritual restoration. 
Amen. Amen. Everybody say, God bless Israel. God bless Israel. God bless the peace of Jerusalem Amen. as praying for, Amen. for Israel every day is declaring the Lord's second coming, no? Mm -hmm. And praying for the uh, uh, be, uh, for Jerusalem, the peace of Jerusalem is praying for all the cities of the world. Amen. Amen. Ask of me and I will make the nations your heritage and the ends of the earth your possessions. We continue to pray for the nations as we pray against terrorism, natural catastrophes, civil war in Tigray, Ethiopia, Myanmar, Nigeria, United Kingdom, the United States. We pray for a U.S. President Joe Biden and his administration. We pray for uh, recovery in Lebanon. We pray for Haiti, no, which was hit by an earthquake affecting 1.2 million people. We pray against civil unrest, against hate crimes, against unemployment, against bankruptcy. Lalo-lalo na po ngayon ni Lord God, lockdown na naman. We pray against poverty-related crimes, cyber crimes as a, such as data breach. We pray against domestic violence, sexual exploitation of the children, depression and suicide, Lord, which is up by 50% in 2020. We pray against insurgency in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for Afghanistan. No, uh, the, con the country is now facing the Taliban's return to power, which if it's anything like it was in the 1990s would mean a deterioration in civil liberties, particularly for women and girls whose freedom grew under the civilian government. No, The situation could now result in a rising counter-terrorism threat just as the 20th anniversary of the September 11, 2001 Al-Qaeda attacks approaches. We pray for Afghanistan, the children, the women, the refugees, the Taliban, and the United States and its allies no, on uh, divine wisdom to know what to do for Amen. Afghanistan Amen. in the name of Jesus. Let us now pray for all national leaders in this time of pandemic and conflict. We pray for head of states, presidents, and prime ministers. Amen, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, it is you who puts kings, Lord God, in their thrones. We pray, Lord God, for all prime ministers, presidents, and national oh, leaders, you. Lord, yes, for oh wisdom God. to know what to do, Lord God, yes, during Lord. this uh a very difficult times lord god where, where there are where there is violence where there is the threat lord of mm. uh climate change where there is the continuing struggle to uh win lord god uh over this pandemic in the name of jesus mm. bless our national leaders lord give them wisdom in the name of jesus as we continue to pray for china russia iran North Korea, we pray against terrorism, we pray for uh, the effects of climate emergency affecting us with heavy floods, uh, the deadly wildfires in Northern California, especially in Oregon, Washington, Idaho, and Montana. In the name of Jesus, let us now pray for Matthew chapter 6 verses 9 to 13 over all the nations of the world. Our Father, Father in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one. Let us now pray for the eradication of COVID-19 and the new strains of virus, no? especially this Delta variant and Lambda variant uh, with... Uh, World record of 209,568,892, no? but praise God, more than 187 million fully recovered. We pray, Lord, for all the vaccines to work against this variants and can prevent severe infection. We pray for USA, for India, for Brazil, Russia, France, UK, Turkey, Argentina, Colombia, Spain. Uh, but praise God po, no? Did you know about the uh, uh, the uh, 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 India, no? Was able to inoculate in one day po, ne? In one day, 
7 million people. Wow. Kaya po hindi na natin masyadong naririnig ngayon yung India no? because they have uh, been very effective in tracing, testing, and uh, vaccination. No? Praise God po for uh, God uh, answering our prayers for India which means po uh, talagang uh, God hears us as we pray also for uh, Indonesia, no? uh, Java and Sumatra, especially Malaysia in the name of Jesus. Let us continue to pray for the world in this time of pandemic as we pray to be able to isolate cases and reduce transmission. We pray for equitable global access to COVID-19 vaccines. More oxygen to treat the seriously ill and save lives. We pray for all countries to step up with the political and financial commitments needed to fully fund COVAX and end the pandemic. We pray for discipline to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 and its variants especially in the United States, in the United Kingdom, and even in uh, you, uh, ano, um, Australia po, ne? and uh, uh, New Zealand. We pray for these countries. Amen. We pray against inconsistent use of public health and social measures. We pray for stronger surveillance. Against increased social mixing and mobility among unvaccinated people. Strategic testing. More testing rates in low-income countries. Amen. Patients to receive early clinical care. Faster vaccine rollout. We pray for well-trained and well-protected health workers. For more research and development on the Delta variants. And more vaccines, Lord, in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Let us now pray for our livelihood as we look up to God who is the source of all our provisions. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Amen. So whatever need it may be, Lord God, whether it be uh, a financial need, Lord God, uh, a need for uh, employment, a need, Lord God, for businesses, Lord, we pray and entrust to you, Lord God, our daily provisions in Jesus' name. As we all say, divine opportunities come Divine provisions come. Amen. We now pray for our frontliners. We pray, Lord, for especially those in the uh, hospitals. Yes, oh God. Lord, we pray for doctors, nurses, healthcare workers, Lord God. For those in the military, the frontline government workers. Food deliveries. Food deliveries, Lord, and uh, the business uh, frontliners, Lord. We pray that you cover them with your most precious blood. Protect them and their families, Lord God, from the Delta variant Amen. and all uh, sickness or diseases in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. We now listen to our daily bread devotional titled Peace in the Chaos. Today's scripture and insight comes from Psalm 121. Hello friends, it's time for today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional. Our reading is titled Peace in the Chaos and it was written by Julie Schwab. Something that sounded like firecrackers roused Joanne from sleep. Glass shattered, wishing she didn't live alone, she got up to see what was going on. The dark streets were empty and the house seemed to be okay. Then she saw the broken mirror. Investigators found a bullet only a half inch from the gas line. If it had struck the line, she probably wouldn't have made it out alive. Later, they discovered it was a stray bullet from nearby apartments. But now Joanne was afraid to be at home. She prayed for peace, and once the glass was cleaned up, her heart calmed. Psalm 121 is a reminder for us to look to God in times of trouble. Here, we see that we can have peace and calm because our help comes from the Lord, Amen. the maker of heaven and earth. The God who created the universe helps and watches over us even while we sleep. But he himself never sleeps. He watches over us day and night, both now and forevermore. No matter what kind of situations we find ourselves in, God sees, and he's waiting for us to turn to him. 
When we do, our circumstances may not always change, but he's promised his peace in the midst of it all. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, Amen. the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon yes, by amen. night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Let's pray. Dear God, our help comes from you when we're facing difficult circumstances. Thank you for filling us with peace and giving us freedom from fear. When life seems out of control, help us to rest in the knowledge that you are always in control. Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God for most of us intercessors. You know, our generation uh, has seen uh, many of the events. You no, know? I, I remember when we were children, uh, when there were uh, bullets being sprayed. Do you remember that? My mom and my dad would bring us to the bathrooms, no? And uh, we will be hiding there. Keta pung lugar min eh, keng San Nicolas. Downtown, downtown. Downtown. We, we saw that, no? Uh, as young people, we didn't understand it because it... Uh, at my age then, I thought we were just playing games, no? Because my my mom would be br bringing uh, uh, dasen, eh? Banig. Dadali niya yung banig at saka yung mga kumot sa banyo. Si Ma'am, then banyo tapakan to, banyo la pa yan, eh? La pa mabaling. <laughs> Tapos po, our generation also experienced the Mount Pinatubo. And we thought the Mount Pinatubo was the worst, no? And then came the Lahar, No? which buried many of the provinces here in Pampanga. Nanu pa? And then the 911, no? We, we've seen po how the protocols in the airports have changed. Uh, every time uh, you would enter the air for, uh, airports, airports, <laughs> <laughs> mag-aalis ka ng, uh, ng sapatos, mag-aalis ka ng belt, ilalabas mo lahat ng gamit tapos in your mind no uh, parang in you hear na minumura-mura mo si Osama bin Laden because of the terroristic attack no that have affected us uh, 911 yon no and then after that yun nga po the effects of climate change and now this no nag parang ano yung coronavirus in 2020 and now in 2021 uh, nagsabay-sabay ang COVID, uh, terrorism, no? Yung pong muntik ng nagkagera sa sa, uh, sa Israel, no? Against the Hamas and uh, Israelites. And then now, Afghanistan. And then, eto po, the effects of the climate uh, emergency, no? Is already being felt, no? So, uh, mahabag sa atin ng Panginoon, we are really uh, uh, at the doorstep of the last days, no? Kaya po yung ating devotional this morning talks about peace in the chaos, no? But eto tayo ngayon, no? As intercessors in the dawn watches, praying and asking God, no? Uh, Every day, uh, praying for the nations of the world. So, pero yun nga po, no? Uh, sa panahon ito, nararanasan natin ang kapayapaan ng Diyos. Sa Kanya po, nang gagaling ang kapayapaan. Maaaring magulo ang ating paligid, pero may kapayapaan tayo dahil sa Panginoong Jesus. Amen. So, uh, please um, feel free to type your shares. No? Hindi, kamukha po ng ano, nung sinabi nyo kahapon no, na 
talagang as we see it uh, na hindi talaga magiging madali ang buhay. I mean talagang uh, yung inaasam natin na babalik doon sa normal and everything medyo blurry yun. pero ang kagandahan ng ginagawa nating ito eh lalo tayong napapagtibay no spiritually at pag matibay tayo spiritually talagang makikita naman natin no for the past year na nasa pandemic tayo talagang ako uh, personally nakatulong talaga sa akin to kasi yung peace nandiyan no kalma ka lang uh, hindi ka masyadong yung iba talagang uh, sabi nga nung kaibigan kong doktor pag daw noon nag, nag-uusap sila mabu- uh, maano maayos ngayon parang napaparaning na yung mga ibang doctors na kasama niya dahil uh, they don't wanna converse and talk too long parang meron silang iniiwasan and nakaka ano yon nakaka nakakabigla yon dahil even even professionals nakapangal ma, ma, yes. palingap-ngap ne yeah, ito pong trans transference na ng uh, disease eh. I- imagine that I- even ito ay uh, inapektuhan na ng ng covid mm-hmm. eh. pero po sa atin bilang mga mana ng palataya kahit hindi tayo nagkikita parang ang close close natin <laughs> kahit hindi tayo magkaakilala kahit po may milya milyang distansya sa atin no parang very intimate tayo dahil sa ating daily don watch no Kaya po kakaiba talaga ang nasa Panginoon. Amen. Sabi po ni Sister Beth Santos, Peace in the chaos. God is everywhere and He is our all-knowing God. Whatever situation we are in, He knows it. And we are not alone because He is with us and looking after us always. Amidst this pandemic, we can have the peace we desire. How do we find peace in the midst of chaos? If we are looking to the world for the source, we will, we, uh, will only find the things that are temp- that temporarily give us peace the peace we want to find that lasts even in the worst situation is in Christ he is our real peace amidst of this pandemic chaos or any problems and challenges uh we are facing some ways of finding peace are prayer tama uh, reading god's word and worship and praise kagay po nung praise and worship kanina no uh yung dakilang katapatan hindi ka nagkulang lilim mm. find a quiet place to praise pray and meditate his word no one can steal this kind of peace that god is giving us thank you lord for you are my true real and fer- perfect peace amen thank you sister beth brother garo Psalm 124, if the Lord had not been on our side when our enemies attacked us, then they would have swallowed us alive in their furious anger against us. Then the flood would have carried us away. The water would have drowned us. Let us thank the Lord who has not let our enemies destroy us. We have escaped like a bird from a hunter's trap. The trap is broken and we are free. Our help comes from the Lord who made heavens, heaven and earth. Praise God. Amen. No, uh, di po ba merong verse sa Bible na uh, kahit na dumaan tayo sa, sa dagat or river, ana, it will not overwhelm us. Ana, Kenny. Mm-mm. It will not swallow us alive. Itapin po na itang afi-feel ta kasi nang kayo bala mo maka-overwhelm. Eh. Kaya po, importante talaga na manalangin tayo. Amen. Thank you po, Brother Garu. Sister Leonora Santos. Mararanasan natin ang peace ni Lord sa gitna ng kaguluhan. Kung meron tayong problema at kung meron tayong sitwasyon na pinagdadaanan at hirap na hirap tayo. Pung, pero kung tayo ay nagtitiwala at nananampalataya na tayo binabantayan ni Lord, di siya natutulog at palaging, gi, gi, gising, at palaging gising at nakikita tayo ng ating tagapagtanggol. Yung iba... Nakikita natin na di pinababayaan ni Lord tayo pa kaya na nagtitiwala at nananampalataya at merong pinanghawakan na pangako niya. Kilala natin ang ating Diyos, meron tayong personal na kaugnayan, ang mahalaga magtiwala at panghawakan natin ang promise ni Lord. Amen. Yung pong binabanggit dito ni Sister Leonora, yung confidence, no? Yung right. kapag nagtitiwala ka sa Panginoon talaga, buong-buo yung loob mm. mo, no? Kahit po sa sa harap ng pagsubok. Amen. Thank you, Sister Leonora. Uh, 
Sister uh, Samantha Smith or is this Brother Moreno Flores? Chaos is natural. If you look, if you look at the world, it's everywhere. But to find your peace in the midst of chaos is something you have to deal with. We have peace not we have peace not when there is no difficulty, but when God is present in the difficulty, there is real peace. That's right. God intends peace for us. Peace is God's gift to us. There are ways to find peace for yourself. Number one, focus on the eternal. It's hard to find peace when you are focused only on short-term worries. Tama. No, focus on the eternal. Kaya po sabi ng Bible, look uh, on things that are above. But if you focus on the big picture, God's plan of happiness, you can find peace in knowing that what hurts right now won't last forever. Amen. Number two. Let go of what you can't control. Wow, amen. When something outside your control takes away your peace, it's tempting to feel hopeless or angry. But it doesn't help to linger on things you can't change. Instead, draw close to the Savior to find inner peace. Even when life deals you a bad hand, He has promised to send you the Comforter, the Holy Spirit. Amen, Forgive amen, others. Amen. Often the hardest thing to let go of is the negativity you feel when someone were wrong you we will receive the joy of forgiveness in our lives when we're willing to extend the joy freely to others as a result the spirit of the lord will will fill our souls with the joy accompanying divine peace of conscience turning to the savior can help you be free of emotional burden caused by problems like family relationship illness financial etc. and be filled with peace. The most that we can do is to cling and claim His promises in Psalm 121. Our help comes from the Lord and the Maker of heaven and earth. Okay, gusto ko po yung let go of what you can't control. No, Sabi ko nga po kay Pastor Diga at kay Sister Ida, kung hindi nila ako nirebuke, siguro isa na ako dun sa mga nagrarant sa mga nangyayari ngayon sa DOH. No? Talaga pong nakaka, nakakagalit, nakakagalit. Apo ah, pong pakiramdam ang kit, alagang manggiligit ko mga pagaga ko, pakingkamwa ko na eh. Kasi, pero yun nga po, it's, it's not in my control to do something about the DOH. So sabi po, manggiligit na ako kem panalangin as I pray no for data pong 67 billion kem DOH. And then data pong uh, health workers ang mag-resign eh. So, kaya po, that is something out of my control. Ang kaya kong gawin po, manalangin. That is within my control because God has uh, uh, has the power no, to change that. no. And then, forgive others. Should po. Let us live a life of forgiveness. Lalo na po ngayong pandemic, hindi tayo makakaranas ng kapayapaan pag unforgiving tayo. That's right. Amen. Thank you for this uh, share, Sister Samantha and Brother Moreno Flores. Praise God. Uh, uh, Brother Bong, Sister Les, Abangko. God's presence to us is our great confidence in facing everything, right. especially in times of trouble. Oh, ne, mo maipaliwanag yun, pero na, nararanasan natin, no, yung damang-dama mo yung presensya ng Panginoon, kahit po sa panahon ng kahirapan. Praise God. Uh, bro, uh, Brother Dudes, Pineda. Uh... The whole is in the chaotic chaos, a chaotic status right now. The whole world, ito siguro yung ibig sabihin ni being Brother alone. Dudes, no? Being the whole world is in a chaotic status right now. Sige, go. Uh, being alarmed so much by, his pan by this pandemic for almost two years and it's ramp rampaging, Ram, ano, pano, rampaging? Ram, uh, a rampaging effect, rampaging up, effect to up to now. But as Christians, how are we supposed to react? Are we troubled by this pandemic? Or we have the peace in our hearts amid pandemic? pandemic? The Bible is very clear when it comes to chaos. The Lord said, peace be with you. Why did the Lord Jesus say this? Because in the book of John 16, His word is obvious and it says, for I have overcome the world since our God is a victorious God. We have reason to have His peace and be Himself is the source, Prince of Peace. And moreover, the Lord is our Jehovah Shalom. As believers in Christ, truly our help comes from the Lord. If our help is sure and clear, then 
can we we not be calm by any circumstance in life every problem is under the feet of jesus therefore peace always prevails over any situation in short let the peace of god guard our or transcend any negativity that is arising in our surrounding the peace of god be with us all amid pandemic stay safe and god bless That's us that's right all. amen thank you po brother dudes mom fam mom fam uh, stand firm be courageous knowing that the one with nail pierced hands watches over us it is enough and let god replace our anxieties with peace trusting god knows all about us and all every need. Amen. Uh, ipanal, ipanalain po natin ang bawat isa na punuin ng Panginoon ng kapayapaan ng ating mga puso, sabi po ni Sister Fem. Stand firm. Be courageous. No? Punuin ng Diyos ng uh, tapang ang ating mm. mga puso because the nail piercings watches over us. Amen. Jesus is our great protector, defender, and provider, sabi ni Sister Tess Abangco. Okay, um, Sister Edna. God alone have the power and the means to do the impossible for us. Why not trust the one that can give us peace in the midst of life's chaos? That's Without right. God in our life, it's very difficult nowadays to have a peaceful sleep. Right now in Northern California where we live, there are about 12 wildfires. Ah. Psalm 121, I will lift up my eyes to the mountains where does my help, my 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 help come from my, my help comes from the lord the maker of heaven he will not let your foot sleep he who watches over you will not slumber indeed he who watches over israel will neither slumber nor sleep the lord watches over you the lord is your shade at your at your right hand the sun will not harm you by day nor by moon by night the Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over you, your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forever. Amen. Praying for you and your family, uh, Sister Edna, and all those who are in Northern California. California. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Sabi po ni Sister Hermie Valencia. Jesus was with Shadrach, Meshach, in Abednego, in the f fiery furnace, and he'll be with you in the fiery furnace as well. They were at peace even though they didn't know whether God would actually keep them alive or not. Oh, this was the time yung parang nasa ano sila, apoy no? Kasi they refused to uh -oh. bow down to the image and statue of yeah. uh, King Nebuchadnezzar. All they knew was God was with and would see them through one way or the other and that was we need to realize God is with us all and will see us through one way or the other and that's not resignation nor defeat this that's confidence God has a plan for us and it's good we walk with him because he's walking with us that's how we get peace in a really bad situation. Amen. Gusto ko po yung sinabi nung tatlo, sabi nila, a God will deliver us, sabi nila, but even if He will not deliver us, sabi nilang ganun, uh, we will not bow down, sabi nila kay King Nebuchadnezzar. Ganun po katindi yung confidence nila. Ito po yung sinasabi ni uh, Sister uh, Hermie, God is with us and will see us through one way or the other. And that is not resignation or defeat. Is pag ipina ipinasa sa Dios mo. Yung iba po sa sabi nanda. Hey, mohan bibiye kaya nga pung ginuma na pero mas kipu cliche yee. Ita talagang ultimately yung chungan talaga kaya nga pung ginuwa le. Everything is in God's hand. No sabi niya. That's confidence. And God has a plan for us, and it's good. Amen. Thank you, sister. Like like right now, no. As much as possible. Uh, huwag kang lumabas as much as possible uh, although hindi po tayo nagkakapareho no get vaccinated no get that the, get that first and second dose then uh, if you kailangan ka talaga lumabas at you know to buy essential or you have to work uh, follow strict so si talagang yung ano protocol gawin mo talaga magkumpleto magdouble mask ka 
Then do do the part as as uh, uh, as a vigilant ka pa mo rin as yes. a Christian. Pero ito pin po, itangya mo na dasnan. Talagang yes, tinapon din mo na nga ni Teta na po paki paki dasnan ito. Kasi, Pero importante yan po talaga yung manalangin tamo al do. Right. Kaya pakapalin po natin yung faith natin. Uh, maging compliant tayo sa 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 ano sa sa government mga protocol nila at the same time we 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 we, we need to pray yun ang key ngayon eh kaya nagso-survive tayo amen. amen ito po mga verses no na sinishare sa atin peace bet santos wow ah nandiyan din ba si share niya in verse ah, okay okay, okay. peace i live with you my peace i give you i do not give you to you as the world gives do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Sabi ni Sister Raquel Ancheta, When, when you, you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and when you pass through the rivers, yeah. they will not sweep. Uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 32, The work of righteous will be peace. And the effect of righteousness, quietness, and assurance forever. Uh, when you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, and I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Uh, the work of the righteousness will be peace, and the and the in the effect of righteousness, quietness, and assurance forever. Amen. Thank you, Sister Raquel. Sister Tess Bacalio, It is natural as humans to be affected by this trouble happening around us and the world. However, because of our knowing that this chaos will all happen based on God's word, we are comforted and with peace in our hearts because of our trust and confidence with His promises that He will never Forsake us nor leave us. Amen. Thank you. Totoo po ito, Sister Tess. Ito naman magmayabang, pero itapin uling atin tamong Jesus na itang we have a personal relationship with Him. Uh, alam natin na, yun po, we are uh, comforted and we have peace in our heart. Sabi ni Pastor Hill, kalma. Peace does not necessarily mean a world without problems, pain, or imbalance. Peace is a state of being. While it may sometimes seem impossible, inner peace is possible despite the emotional influences from world events, media, negative people, and our own judgments. Perfect peace is found only in the presence of the Lord. The Second Thessalonians, Now the Lord of peace himself grant you his peace at all times and in the way Amen. that peace and spiritual well-being that comes to those who walk with Him, regardless of life, circumstances, the Lord will be with you. Amen. All. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Hill. Beautiful. Thank you. Uh, Colonel Romel Flojo. Be thankful that, sir, that sunrise and sunsets are free. Otherwise, we cannot afford them. Be thankful that behind every storm and rainbow of hope and sunshine is dawning. Be thankful for our mistakes be, be, because life will be boring if we are perfect. <laughs> be thankful for stress because it serves as a reminder to relax and balance our life. Be thankful to God because He created tomorrows to take chances to change and to do better. And God loves us all. Amen. Amen. Parang naalala ko po yung AP preach ko mamaya sa chapel service sa school. no. Uh, si Joseph daw po, ang isang sekreto niya, kaya siya nag-thrive kahit sa panahon ng, pan, sa panahon ng uh, kagipitan because he was a good steward. Stewardship pa. Ah, itang, uh, he was a good steward of the opportunities God gave him. Man dyan pang makakulong yo kay po na ikinulong siya naging slave siya sa lahat ng pagkakataon po he he was a good steward of his talent of his body of his opportunities so sabi po ni Colonel Romel pasalamat po tayo na ipinagkakatiwala sa atin ng Panginoon nitong Daily Don Watch no mm. malaking bagay po ito yung pong sabi ni Ma'am A, every gising is a blessing, no? Yung mm-hmm. nagising tayo ngayong umaga, blessing. But let us steward all this, no? That God has entrusted to us. Sabi niya, 
be thankful even for our mistakes no mm-hmm. uh be uh, isipin natin yung po yung big picture mindset eh. because life will be boring if we are perfect sabi niya in fact be thankful for stress although do not be stressed out no because it serves as a reminder to relax and balance our life amen thank mm-hmm. you colonel romero thank you thank you for that sabi ni pastor vic consenco in this time of pandemic many people have fear and worries but thank you lord that you are that you are there providing us peace to your children thank you for every day amen. you are giving us yeah, the protection diba? strength and provisions amen. we need you are our father who take care, good care of us who never sleep or nor slumber. Right. Thank you, Lord, in your loving hands we are safe no matter what will happen on these last days, Maranat. Oh, di po ba? Napakalaking comfort po yun. Sabi nga po, no, parang sinasadyang nagkasunod si Colonel Romela at saka si Pastor Vic. Magpasalamat tayo sa Panginoon. That is one way of having peace. Naitang po, tang re-recognize mo itang Uh, malalyari aldoldo amidst this pandemic kahit po mga simpleng bagay lang i-recognize natin at ipagpasalamat natin sa Panginoon sabi po ni Sister Merlin Calvo God's peace is permanent and secure when circumstances are free of conflict we enjoy momentary momentary peace but when we we face difficult relationships health problems and financial ca- crisis The momentary quiet is disrupted mm-hmm. and chaos rules the day. Our God offers peace in the midst of chaos. His, His peace, peace doesn't, doesn't change peace. with circumstances. It is secure in spite of the circumstances. I have, I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Yung po yung mga bagay na nanggagaling sa Diyos, no? Yung pong hindi hindi siya nakabase sa circumstances, kagaya ng joy, kagaya po ng peace, kagaya ng labela, bound king, king circumstances din. Anti mo yung lugod na ng Diyos, unconditional ya. Anti mo yung peace na it passes understanding. Anti mo po yung joy na unspeakable ya kasi yun nga po hindi sila nakabase sa mga pangyayari. Amen. Thank you, Sister um, Susan Bolos. Sister Susan Bolos. Isaiah 26, you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they are, they trust in you. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Pre- peace grows from our relationship with Jesus. We don't only seek after it, but we will also want to be a, a peacemaker. Peace is not the absence of conflict, but the presence of God during conflict. Amen. It is not to give Amen. up biblical principles, but to live with them. Peace be, be with you. you. Amen. Gusto ko po yung sinabi niya uh, dito na peace grows from our relationship with God. So yung lalim at lawak at tindi ng kapayapaan mo, nakabase talaga sa gaano mo kakilala ang Panginoon sa iyong kaugnayan sa Kanya. Mm-hmm. Gusto ko yun. Tapos sabi, ni, sabi niya pa dito, uh, Peace is not the absence of conflict, but the presence of God during conflict. No? Mm-hmm. Amen. Thank you, Sister uh, uh, Bolus, Sister Susan. Mirna Magsino. Ano man po ang nararanasan natin sa ngayon mula sa mula po noong nakilala po natin si Kristo ay atin pong ipagpatuloy. Alam po natin na hindi madali ang pagsunod sa Diyos, hindi po madali ang buhay ng isang Kristiyano. Pero ang buhay po umiikot po habang tayo po ay nasa proseso pa lamang. We still have a lot of trials to go through. Let's be more humble and uh, and share always. Let's Amen. always strengthen the the faith of others until we are We are found. found. There is God who served faithfully to Him and may we achieve His promise to us eternal life. The more we are blessed and move, we will get hot in serving Him. Amen. Tama po. Magpatuloy lang po tayo, sabi ni Sister Mirna. Keep that fire burning. Amen. Sabi po ni Sister Josie Dizon. It's time... In it's times. In, in, in times like this that, that our faith is put up to, to test, We are forced to practice what we preach or throw up our hands and join the 
the com- or or join uh, the complaining oh, oh, ne? the doomsday the, talking the fear the chaos what if we could walk through his difficult struggle with peace not easy the reality we face is tough i'm sure you feel the heavy weight of the circumstances it's a it's a it's lot it's a lot for us all to take in. to take in the unknowns are many but there is one thing we can be sure of Peace is found in knowing Jesus. That's right. Yes, the peace of Jesus gives us, gives, is not as, as the, the world, world gives. gives. His peace cannot be bought on Wall Street. <laughs> His peace cannot be negotiated at the United That's Nations. That's right. His peace cannot be guaranteed by a thriving economy or by, a, by the promises of the world leader or vaccine. Because the peace he gives is himself. He is the sole peace. Sole peace. There's the peace of his fellowship, the peace of his friendship, the peace of his forgiveness, the peace of his salvation, the peace of his grace and mercy, the peace of pro- his protection, the peace that God will supply our need every according to his riches in Christ Jesus, the peace that he has gone to prepare a place for us that we that that where, where he is, is we will someday be also. For God is not a God of disorder but of peace. Praise wow. God, no? And best of all, this peace is available to all of us. Amen. No? Napakaganda po ng mm-hmm. nagagawa ng kapayapaan ng Diyos na sabi niya, nagaling sa nakaranas ng kapatawaran. That's right. Ang kapat- kapayapaan na nanggaling sa nakaranas ng kaligtasan. No? Ang kapayapaan na nanggaling sa nakaranas ng biyaya at habag ng Diyos. Peace of friendship. Ano? Oo. Oh. Ang kapayapaan na dulot ng pakikipagkaibigan ng Diyos sa atin. Ang kapayapaan na dulot ng nakaranas ng divine protection. No? Ang kapayapaan na nararanasan ng mga taong alam nila na lahat ng pangangailangan nila ay ipagkakaloob ng Diyos. Beautiful. No? Thank mm. you, Sister Josie. Amen. Sister Alessa. Ang sarap po na may Diyos tayong buhay at hindi nag-iiwan kahit na sa pinakamagulo at pinakamababang panahon ng buhay natin. Pag po sinulat ko lahat pinagdaanan kong chaos, kung saan ang kapayapaang mula sa Diyos ang aking mararanasan, kulang po ang oras. Salamat po o Diyos. Ang puso ko ay punong-puno ng pasasalamat. Kulang ang salita upang bigkasin ko ang lahat ng kabutihan ni Lord sa buhay ko. Salamat po sa kapayapaan. Kapit lang po tayo kay Lord. Matatapos din po ang lahat ng chaos dahil ito po ang pangako Amen. ng Diyos. Gusto ko yung sinabi ni Alessa na ang Diyos hindi siya nang iiwan. <laughs> hey, ang mag-ghosts, eh, Lord, eh, nakatamo babalag na nakatalalaglag ako na, na-imagine ko yung ano yung anak ko kasi nine pa lang siya no magteten pagka medyo pupunta siya sa medyo madilim uh, parang tayo nung bata no natatakot siya so sabi niya dad you have to come with me uh, I'm, I'm afraid of the dark ano yung pagkabata ka eh no ngayon parang na- na-symbolize ko pero pag, pag nandun, mo, nandun ka sinawahan mo siya talagang mak- mak- makikita mo yung hindi siya natatakot eh God is with us even Amen. in this very, ano? God is yeah. with us. Amen. Amen. Kasama natin ng Diyos. Kaya po kahit may kahirapan, basta kasama natin ng Diyos. At Lord ka rin na... Uh, basta, yes. maski ating chaos, basta kasama natin si Lord. Sabi ng Brother Joey Bautista. Chaos, complete mm-hmm. disorder and confusion regardless of what state we are in. If we do not know that the Lord we are in... The, we do not know the Lord. We, we are, are in a chaotic, chaotic stage. stage. Kaya nga po. Mm-mm. Nanuyaman sitwasyon niya, nandiyan, dakal ka pera. Nandiyan ano? pang balamo mo, very accomplished ka. Basta alayo, Lord, you are in a chaotic stage, sabi ng Brother Joey. Thank you, Brother Joey. Uh, Brother Billy Nukum. Jesus said that the peace I give you is not like the peace that the world gives. We Christians, we have peace in the midst of chaos. Doon lamang natin mapapatunayan ng Diyos ay totoo. Like this pandemic, meron tayong, meron nang nagpapakamatay na natatakot, hindi malaman kung anong gagawin. Pero tayong mga Kristiyano, may kapayapaan dahil alam natin God is in control. Kaya nga po, lalo tayong right. manalangin, lalo tayong mag-aral ng salita ng Diyos, lalo tayong magtapat sa Panginoon. 
Amen. Sabi ni Sister Tessa Banco, we are the true temple of the Holy Spirit, the place where our God dwells. Amen. Yun po, no, hindi lang natin kasama ang Diyos, nasa sa atin pa ang Diyos. Amen. The Lord is in uh, Sister Beth Nepomseno said, With this pandemic, I believe we are living at troubled times today. We just have to go to the promises of God. God's word is, the, is loaded with promises that teach us about having faith in God during hard times. He tells us not to worry, to pray, and He will give us peace like you, you can't, can't imagine. imagine. Peace is an alignment with you and God is, is your heart and mind. He has wisdom to give you. You receive it and gives you peace. When God gives you this peace, you have to receive it with a measure of faith. Yes, you have to trust Him, not because you understand, but because you know who is it. You, you are, are trusting. trusting. Yes, Tama. that's right. Importa. Kaya nga po, uh, dito sa Without Borders, we do not promote a religion. No, We promote a relationship. Kasi importante po kung ano yung pagkakilala mo sa Diyos at uh, pagkaalam mo sa mga pangako niya. Sabi ni Ate Jing, This is the time I have seen everything. There is uncertainty and even people with authority who knows the situation of our economy. Things will not get better. Praise God, ours is the kingdom of God. Our economy is God's economy. We live according to God's word and our relationship with God gives us assurance. Our joy is our Lord and our peace is, is in Him. That surpasses all understanding. No fear since we don't trust the term temporary, but God made a way to trust in Him. By grace, our perspective is, is eternal. eternal. Totoya po ito. Nung una, parang naririnig lang natin, pero ngayon po, no, naintindihan na natin na ang focus talaga hindi sa temporal, kundi sa eternal. Okay, last na lang po. Russell, akit tamo ing ginu, pampers nak pampered nakatamo, balamo ing baby. But in Psalm 24, akit tamo ing ginu, strong, mighty in battle. Yo, he is leading into the battle para aranasan tayong kapangyarihan at adama ang kalwalhatian using yaihari na ning kalwalhatian Amen, Amen Thank you. Last na lang po, Sister Nympha Carrera Peace is the chaos Peace in the chaos kapanatagan sa puso with the love of God and it is written Lamentations I called on your, I called on your name O Lord from the depths of the pit you heard my plea Do not wait. Ah, okay, please do not fear, O oh Lord. You took up my case. You redeemed my life. Sa panaw na tayo po ay nararamdaman ng, ng kalungkutan, paghinagpis ang katunayan at katapatan ng ating ng ating Panginoon ay laging buhay. Because he lives and he is alive for us. Amen. Amen. Ito po sabi ni Sister Susan. Please include Carol, uh, Carolina, no, the daughter of Elena Sylvester. Ah uh, She is here in California for more treatment for leukemia. She was given nine months to leave. No, she is our sister in Christ. Amen. Panalangin po natin si Carolina. No, Lord, right now we pray for Sister Carolina. Dalangin namin Panginoon na uh, apagalingin mo siya sa kanyang karamdaman, Panginoon. Make a way for her, Lord God, to Find you, Lord, to grow deeper in you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen and Amen. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa iyong kapayapaan na hindi namin talagang maaarok. Subalit, available po ito sa amin. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa mga napakagagandang mga reminders at encouragement, Panginoon, na amidst this chaos, Lord, we can experience real peace. Yes. Because you are Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Amen and amen. Let us now pray for these three people that we've committed to pray for. No, at dito po sa without borders we uh, uh, write. No, uh, we go through the members of our family, our relatives. Na ipinapanalangin nating makakilala sa Panginoon bilang sariling Dios at tagapagligtas ng kanilang mga buhay. Yes, Lord, send us, Lord God. Give us opportunities to be able to share the gospel, Lord God, to these people. Mm. And even right now, we pray for miracles and wonders, Lord God, that would lead them to knowing you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Let us now pray for our family as we pray for uh, the members of uh, our families from the oldest to the youngest member. Hmm. 
โดยที่ปรีฟอร์มในแฟมิลีโลกาสกรีบุมบานาได้รับโปรเจกต์ในโอกาสยูอาเดียลฟอนยูเมกาโลดจีซัสอีเมน thank you Lord thank you Jesus Lord ดินาดัลังินปูนามินเซโยอัมบาวัตพามิลียปังอินโอนะพักพลาอินโมอิงาตันโม provide for them Lord in the name of Jesus uh, let us now pray this prayer of declaration for our family I declare and I decree that my family is blessed and cannot be cursed. I declare and I decree that no weapon formed against Amen. me and my family Amen. shall prosper or succeed in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Receive this, intercessors. The Lord give you peace. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you. The Lord be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you. And the Lord give you peace. Amen and amen. Amen. I receive. Dakal po salamat. Join us again tomorrow.